Hi everyone, welcome to today's stream. Today's stream is going to be something a little bit different uh, that, we, that, we're, that we do. Um, the, it's not custom blocks, it's um, gonna be uh, slot fill. Slot fill is uh, fun and it's a way, of, it's the way to extend the Gutenberg interface. WordPress in general, uh, but you know, since the dawn of the hook system, which I think I'm gonna pick to version two or something, um, has always been extendable and uh, you know so it, it allows us to to insert things in certain places um, for, like spe spe specifically if you wanted to have an action there's a lot of actions on the PHP side of things right uh, um, so like add, add action to insert a thing in a certain place you know like and that's kind of what the slot fill system does um, but it's a completely different it's nothing to do with hooks at all, it is a it's it's React based. It's it's similar to um, um, uh, Block Editor Handbook. There is a whole thing on a slot fill, which I would highly recommend you take a look at. Um, I'll drop it into the chat here. It um, uh, base. So that's that's the slot fill stuff. So there are there's about. 10 slot fills available, so slots and fills. So basically, I'm all over the place here, but if you think about how, how slots work, um, uh, is this the component? Yeah, so there, we, we have a slot that is exposed somewhere. Here's some more documentation here. I'll just drop it in here, uh, paste. So the concept is we have a slot that's exposed somewhere in the UI, and then we, we add fills to it, and those fills at runtime um, gets mo moved um, from the, the place where it's originally rendered in, into the place where it needs to live. It's kind of like portal rendering a bit. So, um, yeah, so those two links are going to be super helpful, but we want to write some code, so we're going to write some code. <clears throat> so what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these, these slot fills. So there's a bunch of them. Hey, this is a new one. Where's this one? I've never heard of this one before. The main dashboard button in the post editor and the site editor is used for returning back to interesting. I didn't know that that one existed, so maybe there's a bit more now. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna, we're gonna just scaffold out uh, a thing and we're gonna add a slot to each one of these and then um, we can get into maybe writing some custom ones. The world is our oyster at this point. So typically, on if you've been to any of my streams in the past, I would run the create block package to scaffold us out a block. But in this case, that's not what we need. This is not a block. This is registered in a much different way. So we're going to do this a bit more manually. I'm just gonna create a new plugin. I'm gonna call this plugin uh, slot fill. Uh, extravaganza, extravaganza, extravaganza. That's how I'm gonna spell it. I need a file in there called plugin. PHP, because we're gonna. This is gonna be a plugin, so I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just gonna grab um, this stuff out of here, just to make this nice and neat. So this is gonna be slot fill extravaganza. Yeah, that's it. Um, let's change this to read some other things. This is. Um, all available slots, available slots. Okay, and sure, I'm gonna call this slot fill, and the package will be Twitch streams and great, awesome, cool. So if we come, if we jump over in, into our into here now, we can come into plugins. So here's our slot fill extravaganza plugin. It will do exactly nothing. We will see nothing. It will do nothing. Okay, so so to register a slot, we need to use this register plugin function. Um, and so the register plugin function is on the WordPress uh, plugins, but we need we still need some plumbing here. We, we need to have a build process and we need to do all this. So I'm going to uh, do a bit of that over here now. So in my plugins, um, Put that thing slot fill stuff again. So I'm going to just I'm going to open this up in my little terminal here, and I'm going to say npm init. I'm just oh, you know what I should have said was just yes to everything. <laughs> I'm just going to say yes to all the things here. Um, great. And then we will open up our package. Make sure we got some stuff in here. I don't really need that. Um, just for the sake of doing this. Uh, okay, me. And then it's actually a different. Uh, 
bit, but, but we should be using GPoya. Yes, we need to license this correctly. So let's put that in there. Cool. So the only other thing now is we're going to need to add the scripts package. So let's um, let's go in here. Make sure you can actually read what I'm doing here. Um, you know what? I might just do this in another window because uh, that would be easier. Sorry, I've got a bunch of things going on here. Um, CD slot fill extravaganza. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, sorry, zoom in a little bit. Uh, cool. I'm gonna clear this. npm uh, install. I'm gonna install the at WordPress scripts package because that's what we're gonna use for our build. Let's turn in the background. So I'm gonna do some more setting up. So right out of the box, um, the scripts package looks for its stuff in source. So I'm gonna just put a little file in here, call it index.js. Uh, and then everything else is just gonna get imported into this as we as we need it, right? Okay, so we got a node modules in there. Is this done yet? Still going. Still going, still going, still going. Okay, cool. So that's that's good. All right, so we need to add we need to add some stuff in here. We need to add some scripts. We're gonna start. So this is gonna be WP scripts um, start, I believe, and then we'll do like a build as well. For the purpose of what we're doing today, we'll probably only ever use the start command, but that's fine. So, all right, cool. So now I've got this going. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say I'm gonna clear my console here, my terminal, and I'm gonna say npm start, and this should put us into watch mode, and it's putting this into watch mode. I'm just gonna hide this now. We don't need that. So in here, we've got a build. And you see, we've got nothing going on because there's nothing in there. But we have our index assets. That's cool. That's very, very cool. So um, if we were doing a block, if we were building out, out out a block, we could just call register block type and we could pass it the path to a block the JSON file and it would just enqueue all the things. Well, in this, we can't. So what we need to actually do is we're gonna need to, um, we're gonna need to enqueue our stuff manually. And I have a little snippet that I'm happy to share right here. That's where I can get it. I'm gonna just gonna drop it in here and then we'll talk through it. So, um, this is my PHP CS losing its mind a little bit. Um, what's going on with this? Oh, yeah, get out of here. Okay, so we're not really using namespaces in here, so I'm gonna take some of this stuff out. Um, this is just from another file. You know what? Let's use a namespace. Let's just use namespace. At name space. Wait, no, it's just namespace, sorry. Um, Twitch. What do I call it? Twitch. Twitch. Sure, that's your namespace. Um, no, namespace. Uh, slot bill. Am I doing that right? Is it this way? No, it's definitely this way. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got name my okay one HPCS for fiddle win slot fill. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of stuff going on in here. We're gonna up update some of this. So this is gonna be added to our um, to the enqueue block at editor assets assets function. Oh, okay, fine. Um, and this is what is is this is what's called behind the scenes when we're, when we're actually enqueuing um, JavaScript um, and, and CSS for blocks, um, but we have to do it manually. So we're just going to pass it the name of a function. And in this case, we're going to say enqueue block editor assets, right? And so we're doing a couple of things. I'm just going to I'm just going to walk through this. So the first thing that we're checking for is we're going to look for um, the the existence of this file in our build directory. So this is going to say look in the in the plugin file, like look in the, so get the path to the plugins relative to this file and then look inside of build and look for this. So this, this handles all of our, uh, all of our versioning and handles all of our, um, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Dependencies, that, that's it. Um, and so once this is set up, we don't have to worry about dependencies again. I, I don't know if, if anyone's ever run into issues where there was like, uh, you added a new package to, to something or you, you know, you, you're adding a, a, a different JavaScript uh, sorry, a different WordPress uh, package, and you didn't add it to your list of dependencies in, in QScript, and things didn't work. Yet, you, you have you, you, it used to be you had to go and do that manually all the time. It's a real pain in the butt. So we don't want to do that. So that's what this is probably going to do. Not probably. It's definitely what it's going to do. So this is going to check to see if that file exists. If it does exist, it's going to require it, and then we are going to um, we're going to. Uh, I'm just going to give this a different name. Uh, if I can't spell twit 
switch slot fill extravaganza. I will learn to spell that before the end of this thing. So this is going to say, so we're going to queue the script. This is the name of the script. We're going to look again in our build directory for an index.js, which we have right here. And then now this is, this is the magic part here. This is going to look at the assets and it's going to, if we open this up, we'll see we have dependencies. Let me just do this. Um, sorry, I can't really see what I'm doing. We have dependencies and we have version. So these are, these, these get updated every time we build, right? And, and I'll show that in a second, but, um, so that's where this comes from. So now that this is in place, we don't need to do this anymore. We, we can just, we're, we're good. We can literally close this file forever. Well, maybe not forever, but for the next little while anyways. So how do we know it's working? Let's just take a look. So in my, not in my, in my source, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to say console.log load. No, you know what? Let's get real rude about it. <laughs> Alert. Uh, load. Oh my God. Come on loaded all right so we'll save that now if i if i come over here and i go okay so let's just refresh this you'll see that we didn't see anything plugin is active so if i go here go ahead new see so we got loaded so that that i know that it's being enqueued and i know that it's only being enqueued inside the block editor um and that's a thing uh which we want to do now keep in mind with the with the addition of the site editor it also gets enqueued because it's technically a block editor as well behind the scenes the block editor component builds both of these things so that's that's one thing to keep in mind um which is it's just something to keep to keep in mind it's not something that's going to cause a problem right now um but anyways it's something to keep in mind cool so that's that's this uh we'll get rid of that now all right so let's start let's start building out our, um, let's start building out our slots. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to import the register, register plugin. Oh my sweet Lord, register plugin from at WordPress. I think it's plugin. I think it's plugin. Let's, let's take a look here. Uh, WordPress plugins. Okay. So that's where so WordPress plugins. Oops. Oh my God. <laughs> if anyone's keeping count of these, these typos, it's ridiculous, man. All right. So that's okay. Cool. All right. So then we're going to call register plugin. Register plugin takes, um, what does it take? Man, it's been a while. So if we look at register plugin, Okay, cool. So it takes the name of your plugin. Um, let's see. Oh, that's not what I want. Um, let's just look at, I'm gonna look in the package reference so we can see this. I know what it takes, but I wanna show this anyways. Uh, I don't know how to do the alphabet plugins. So, this is all the things that you can have access to with the plugins API. So plugins, basically just think of plugins as a slot fill. Not, it's not a plugin in, in the sense of how like WordPress installs plugins, right? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a plugin into Gutenberg, if that's a way of, of doing this. So register plugin, that's what we have here, right? So it takes, uh the settings okay that's super helpful um so basically oh huh, what does the scope thing do i don't know what the scope thing does that's neat render is a component scope is my page huh well there's some documentation that needs to be updated here it looks like okay cool Anyways, the two things that you, that you really only need two things, but we're, we're going to give it a name. That's the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to call, uh, this, I'm going to call this, uh, slot fill extravaganza. I'm going to keep spelling it wrong. Extravaganza. All right. So that's just the name of our, our plugin. It should be unique. Um, so we're not stomping on other people's plugin. I'm going to call this in the plugin. 
Timothy Jacobs, if I remember correctly, scope lets the plugin provider only plug in, only load plugins with a matching scope. That's interesting. Well, we'll give that one a whirl. And then it takes an object. And so the one thing that you absolutely need is you need a render property. Um, and the render property is basically the, the, the component that's gonna get rendered when you're when you're doing this. So I'm, I'm gonna create a component and call it, uh, let's just go with it, slot fill extrava, <laughs> extravaganza. And we're just gonna make it a functional component and it's gonna return whatever it's gonna return. All right, so in any so then this thing goes in here, um, right? Let's just look. Yep, goes in there, and then inside of here is where we would put our slot fills. Now you can do other things here as well. We can also add uh, an icon, um, right? Which can be a string. So you could say like uh, smiley or yeah, smiley smiley is one. It's it, it can be any of the uh, dash icons. Um, but you can also pass it a custom uh, icon uh, that can be like an SVG or something. So, um, which I happen to have one here, which I think this might be an avocado. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a folder in here and call it uh, whatever uh, icon. Oh, not there. Oops. I'm just gonna put a new file in here and call it icon JS. Right. I can do this. And then we're just exporting. Oh wait, is that a logo? What? Oops. I don't know what this is. Hopefully it's something cool. Uh, oh, that's WordPress. Okay. And then, so I'm going to import my, uh, from, uh, icon. What do they call it? Export console. I just call it logo, I think. So you should, so you can do this with custom components. So we can just do this. And so anytime that there is a logo that is, or there's an icon associated with a slot, it will display whatever it is that we're putting in here. All right, so let's, enough of my jibber jabber, let's get into a, doing a real slot. So there's a bunch, there's a bunch, 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 and I will just show you where they are. Oh, I have it here. So we have slot fills that appear. Um, you may have, there's one, um, there's one right in here, uh, right down in this area. Uh, which I'll just show you that one first. So if we look at, at the, um, what was that? That one's called the post, public, this post status, pu plugin post status info. That's the one that we need. So we need to import the, we will import the, um, uh, we'll import the slot from here and then we will render the slot here. So anything that gets rendered inside of this slot will get put in where that, sorry, in this fill will get put where the associating slot is, if that makes sense. So if I now come over here and I uh, slot fill, I'm going to save draft. If I refresh this, there we go. So see, we've got a little high button, high in there. So clearly that is a useless example. Um, uh, question, is there any reason plugins should use the SVG components from WordPress primitives? Uh, I'm not sure you can use them if you want. Is that, sorry, what, what do you, is there any reason plugins should use the SVG components from uh, Yeah, um, I think so. I'm not sure I understand the question, Timothy. Um, sorry. I think the, the SVG components from primitives you can use to wrap other things. Um, but that's the logo you're using. I noticed you're just using regular JSS tags. Yeah, that's because I had an SVG file that I just, um, I, I, there's an online tool that I found uh, somewhere that just converted the SVG into React one for me. So I, I'm just using that, but you can use, any component, like you can use anything you want in there as long as it returns, um, uh, does it say? Yeah, we need a better. There's, you can use, um, you can use a string or you can use anything that basically returns a component. Um, so there, you could use that is the long and short of it, I, I guess, right? This is pretty. I think that's the one that I, I I'm, I'm using as well. 
a realist look. Yep, that's exactly the one that I used for this. This is a great tool. Cool, you just drag your file in there. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, Timmy, this wasn't a very good answer, but um, you could use it. There's no reason you can't. It, it, you can use it, if it's a component, you can display it, as long as it's a visual thing, right? Um, yeah, so that one doesn't look like it has a, um, so this is you know, slot um, post status info, right? So we come back over here, we refresh this. You can see we've got this post status info thing. Right, yeah, cool. Yes. Uh, cool. Yeah. So that's that. That's the first one. So you can see, like, you know, this is a very, this is a pretty cool place to put things. Uh, for some things, it's a, you know, it's almost always visible at the very top when you're uh, in in the post. I know of uh, at least one plugin that it inserts things there. Um, the next one that I can think of on the top of my head is is the document settings panel. So this is a this is a cool one that will actually insert one of these panels for us. Um, so what we can do is uh, block setting, no, document settings panel right here. So we can see, oh yes, this is a better, these props are better here. So the, um, so this, this can, this, so the icon, the icon can be a string as we saw, it, it, it can be a smiley or whatever, um, or the dash con slug or an SVG WP element. So that might answer your question a little better, Timothy, hopefully. So we're gonna the document settings panel from the same place. I believe it's always in post edit. Yeah, they're all, these are all in post edit package. So I'm just gonna keep adding them and do this. And so one cool thing about this is you can use, like we can use the same, um, oops. We can use the same plugin to register multiple slots. It doesn't matter. You can put as many as you want in. Um, and it doesn't really matter the order e either. Um, Unless you're into doing the, uh, uh, unless you have the same, if you have the same slot, if you had multiple document settings panels, the order in which they appear here is the order in which that they are rendered. So that's the only thing that 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 you need to be worried about when you're doing multiples in the same plugin. Um, uh, this is the plugin document setting. Setting, setting panel. So let's refresh this. Come back over here. We should see a little. Uh, oops. What do I do? Well, that's just interesting. I didn't know. Oh, do I need to put, do I need to put a, let's look. Um, I think I need to put a couple of these things in here. Some props. All right, so custom panel, custom panel, custom panel. And then we refresh the, refresh this. There we go. Oh yeah, so it's an avocado. <laughs> Cause I'm a developer advocate. So. so this is the custom panel. So you can put anything you want inside of this custom panel. And one thing it does do, which is, is really handy is it wraps it inside the panel body and all that fun stuff. So this is a really great way of like, you know, if you want to add um, controls to, to mess with, um, you know, post, uh, post, sorry, like custom fields on, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, you, you can, you can absolutely do that. And this is, um, not related to a block. Obviously it's rated related to this so any, and you can put as many of these in here as you want. Uh, now you, what you can't do is order them, um, other than via, um, source order there. Um, cool. So the next one we can look at is, um, this is plug-in sidebar. So let's let's do a plug-in sidebar. Again, I'm just gonna keep loading these in and in their no particular order. I'm gonna just grab the majority of the this sort of I'm just gonna grab that. And put it in here. Uh, that's what I need. Don't need the. I'm 
gonna I'm gonna just gonna keep the icon the same. Oh, actually, some of these will override the icon. Um, like I think if I, I think if I just do like a, let's do smiley in here, which I think is one. Um, what have I done wrong? Nope, don't need that. Uh, cool. Let's just see what that does. Refresh this. Uh, yes, reload, reload, please. Cool. So this this is up here now. I'm sure the majority of the people here have seen something here. Like this is just registers the plugin. Um, you know, you can you can do things like that. Now, does it also? Um, it does. Okay, cool. So what that does is it it puts it puts it up in here, and it by default it stars it or like bookmarks it or whatever you want to call it. Pins it, it pins it right, and then but it also adds um, a um, option in the, the options panel here to open and close your your plugin right so that's how so like yoast does this i think amp does this there's a bunch of I'm, this is probably one of the more commonly used ones but and, and uh, along with the um with the um what am i saying words are not coming to me at the moment um uh, along with uh this one so if you pass an icon here it will Use it, but if you don't, it should inherit the plugin, the the icon that is registered via, yeah, see. So we go up here. So let's let's start that. So you see, we've got um, my plugin there, right? So that's that's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, right, let's see what else we got. I mean, I mean. I'm interested to see this one. I've never never heard of this one before. Site editor example. So this what is this? This is experimental. So I wonder if it's still experimental. Let's look. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna take a look and see, not that. I'm gonna see what we got in the console. I'm gonna zoom it in, clear it. I say wp dot. What is the thing? Um, Post WP edit edit post dot okay so it is there as experimental dashboard button okay well let's see what this does I wouldn't rec I don't recommend using this because experimental usually means that it could change at any time but we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this so I'm gonna say um, do where'd that go here it is so we're gonna we're gonna do this experimental Right, it's main dashboard button. So if I drop main dashboard button down at the bottom, let's see what the example is showing me. Okay, that's pretty. Oh, interesting. Okay. This will read the, the icon button. Okay, so if I just do this, let's see what this actually will override. This is neat. I, I didn't know about these. I'm usually pretty up to date on the old uh, slot bills, but not today it seems. Oh, custom main. Okay, interesting. Let me, let me undo that and just see what that looks like. I don't remember what that looked like. What did that do? That was weird. Uh, I'm gonna put the logo in here maybe. Um, Logo. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's see. Did I break it? Oh yeah. Did I ever break it? I think because it's an SVG, I need to try that. Let's try that. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's a that's a thing. That's interesting. So I'm not I'm not really seeing. I I would imagine that if you put if you if I did something like this maybe. Um, Ruba, this might be this. I think uh, talks to, speaks to the thing that you were doing with your putting it on on the other end. Try full screen mode. Right. So there's a button in there. Yeah, let's go full screen. Good idea. Full screen. So it's throwing a button in, but I don't. Oh, I see what you're saying, Jacob. Nice, nice call. That's this. So that completely replaces that. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Um, 
Yeah, okay, cool. In interesting. If your goal is just to replace the icon of the existing button in your poster, you can shoot in the following way. Full screen. Ew. Place it a bunch of my sites with a logo plus text. I guess that's so FCC can change that to open the sidebar. Yeah. So this is this is in, in interesting here. So the the first thing that I thought when I was messing with this was like this is not super handy because it it doesn't it's not clean. Like I can't just put something there and have it nice and wrapped and all that stuff. But apparently you can, and you can by doing <laughs> doing this. Um, so I can I can uh, can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So what was the example that they showed? Full. Oh, that's okay. Cool. So if you just if I just want to. Change the uh, the icon. This is possible by doing so, like this, and then I pass logo in there, and then in full screen mode, this should be my little avocado. It is. That I like. That is really cool, because this is like pretty neat branding stuff. Although that that's not what I wanted to have happen. Is that was that what that did normally? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, does this take me? Oh, it takes me to, to the dashboard. Okay, all right, cool. So I just, I just linked it to the wrong place. I wonder if I don't, I wonder if I don't pass it in href, what happens? If I just, if I just want to have that, yeah, so that'll, is it just going to bring me back? Oh, cool, all right. So that's a really quick and dirty way of doing that. Icon is solid, very confusing for a lot of people. Simple icon is very slick for sure. Yeah, it's always done that. Cool. Uh, awesome. Okay, so that's a fun one. So what's the next one that we should look at here? So we've done what's this block settings? Oh, okay, cool. So if we want to add our own little block settings drop down in here, item. Let me zoom in. We can do that. So I'm going to grab. This this stuff needs to be up, updated. I can say that because I wrote it. <laughs> I think we need to update this stuff. Uh, and I can put this in here. And then we're gonna do a little one of these. I'm, gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab the whole example out of, out of here. Um, so this. That's interesting. Okay, and I can put that in there. So plugin block setting. So what is a loud block? What is that? Super duper interesting. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to refresh this. Refresh this. And then if I type, uh, there we go. So we should have a menu item text clicked. So again, I should be able to pass my logo in there oh actually I can it should inherit if I remember correctly some of them didn't in, inherit I know I can't remember if this is one of them or not um, we'll just oh wait uh, some content save draft let's see hmm, this one might not this one might be the one that doesn't so I might so you have to no oh, it's a capital L I think that's documented though, is it not? Weird, okay. So let's, hmm, interesting, it should be, we should, I should get that documented, it's not. Okay, so that's adding that. So that's doing this. So what is this, what does this allowed blocks doodad do? It seems like it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, let's let's get rid of it and see what happens. Okay. So, all right. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Great point. Let's put a button in and let's see. Buttons, test, test, test. Maybe that's it. Let's see. Show up in here. Oh, uh, oh, did I? I removed it. That is probably exactly what it's for. So this is gonna only show up on on the 
on those blocks. Hold on, let's take this draft. Let's take a look. Okay, so in my paragraph, I see it, and then in my block, I don't. That's exactly what it is. Definitely, well done. That makes total sense. So that allows you to be contextual about how you insert these things. That's really, really neat. I'm going to uh, pin my toolbar at the top because I, that's how I like to roll. That's, that's very cool. That's very, very, very cool. Okay, so that's good to know. And then, yeah, and then so you can do whatever you want in here. Whatever you want is gonna be very up to you, obviously, so I don't know. Um, okay, so what's, uh, what's, what else we got? So we've done the document setting panel one, we've seen that. Um, plug in more menu item, we just did that. Is that, we just did that one? No, we didn't do that one. This will add a slot to the new, to the more to the tool section. Okay, so let's go plug in more menu item. Gonna, I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna grab this. And let's, let's just grab the whole example here. This and put it down the bottom. Okay, so it's gonna be logo. And I think this might be similar to what happens I think here. My plugin. Okay, yeah. So what is this? What did I call this thing? More menu item. So let's see where that shows up here. More menu item. Okay, cool. So this one is introduced with that slot fill and allows you to do, to do something. However, this one is automatically added. So this is the same slot, right? I wish you could pin the tool at the top and still have easy access to the parent block icon. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Sorry, uh, I uh, yeah, I, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, yeah. So the this is the slot. So the, the slot. So these are two fills that are introduced by two different means, right? So this this bottom one comes along when, when we registered this whole plugin thing, and this one um, uh, is what we just did just a second ago. So it just adds that one. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay. Plugin sidebar. What's the plugin sidebar more menu item? Slot allows the creation of a plugin cyber with a menu item that when clicked all will expand the cyber to put plugin system. This one, this is strange. Um, this one seems to be doing the same thing as what we were doing before, because here's our side. Plugin set for menu item. What did I just put in there? Plug in more menu item. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna put this example in and see what happens. I feel like this example might be um, sort of extraneous at this point. Um, I'm just gonna grab this example. Drop it in here. I'm just gonna change fragment to this this thing. So it's just a logo. So let's just see what happens here. I think this is gonna basically introduce another plugin for us here. Yeah, so there's two plugins. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna call this, uh, oh, come on. What did I just do there? I think there's a Twitter one, isn't there? Why not? I'm just doing this so we can see the difference, but the two yeah so what is that so that's the sidebar and that's this thing oh, okay so this is okay so this approach will register your plugin and then that's weird so that's this. 
<laughs> so it won't automatically register it. I wonder if I just, if I take this thing out, what happens here? Still registers the plugin. And now the plugin's down here again. So I think this might be a little bit redundant. I'm trying to see if there's a, yeah, it, it seems like it seems like this approach has now been sort of supplanted by a better approach for just adding this this sidebar thing. I guess maybe if you wanted to have a bit more control over some things, you could do that. That's probably where you'd want to do it. Um, like I don't know what plugin sidebar components it would it. Uh, hmm, where's the actual slot? Come on now. Come on now, slot, where are you? Um, I guess we could, we could look at the source code. There's probably, there, you could probably be a bit more verbose in here in naming and you could have a different icon. So actually that's that's probably one good reason. If you wanted to say have a slightly different icon in here or something, you, you could do that or, or mess with the names. Um, Cool, 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 cool. So there's some uh, pre-published panel and post-published uh, post panel. So we can look at those. Those are pretty straightforward. Every, I think majority of people have seen these. But uh, if you want to, if you want to add something um, before it get before the post is, is published, you can do that with this. Um, hi from the pre-publish. Panel, Pabble, panel. And if I come over here now, I'll refresh this. And if I hit publish, what happened? <laughs> Switch the draft. Why didn't I get that? Did I turn this? Uh, what the deuce? I didn't get the. Okay. Weird. Where are my options, my preferences? Include pre published checklist. So that's the thing. So yeah, so. Okay, let me switch the draft. So apparently I've turned this off somewhere. So that's what this is. So that pre-published panel will show up here. So I think in one of my streams earlier, I did like a, a pre-published checklist. And this is a way you could do it here, but you see the one issue with doing it here is that um, if someone unchecks this, then this just doesn't get shown. So, but this but this is a good way of like, you know, if you, if, if you need to add to this. And then there's, um, there's its companion one, which would be the, the post publish panel, which is shows up after the post has been published. Um, so like this, oops, what am I doing? Oh man, cannot type. Hi, from the post, P post, po <laughs> I typed like I speak. Uh, what, what is this? It's not defined. Have I not imported it? No. Why did I not import? Oh, get out of here. Uh, public, blah, blah, blah. plugin post publish, doozy dad. Okay, like this. Okay, now we should have it. Okay, close on that. I'm gonna come over here and refresh the post post publish panel. Yeah, I know. It's it's a it's a it's a. <laughs> It's just the way I live my life, I guess, Jacob. Okay, so this is the pre-published. We've seen that one. So if I publish this now, so now we've got a post-publish. So this would be cool if you wanted to like, I don't know, there's all kinds of like post-publishing actions that you could do in here. Now just keep in mind though, it's, this is more, I think this is just more in, in, informational. I mean, if you wanna get really into it, you could probably make some changes to things, but you just save the post. So you gotta be careful whether you wanna really save that or not. Okay, well, I think we've, have we gone through the majority of them? I think we have. So um, there is one thing that I wanted to point out. There's a couple in here that don't, aren't showing up. Um, now, there, so everything that we've looked at so far has been in the, um, has been in the post, like the, the block editor experience, right? But what about if we wanted to go into the editor? So let's see what happens. So I don't think I see anything in here. Right, so none of our none of our none of our slots have been moved over. Now there are a couple in here, and I have to track them down. So bear me, bear with me one second here. Um, uh, do, 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 do. In a second. Okay, so there are. Looks like there's three. So if I jump over here to this, oh, why does it do that? Why can't 
I, I have I have two windows open. I want to I, I I want to wanted to have zoom different zooms for each. So uh, for in the edit site package, we've got uh, ooh that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to just rename this as site as edit site plugin sidebar. So I'm doing this because I've already got a plugin sidebar. Um, this has already been, uh, as I, I, I'm importing, uh, things that, that are exactly the same name. So I just want, I'm just aliasing it here and that's going to probably be a, be a problem as well. Right. Uh, well, we'll just do this. Do -do. Normally you wouldn't need to do this. I wouldn't probably put all this in, in the same file either. Um, so I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to come up at the top here. Can I put comments in here? Comment. This is a uh, post edit. All right, and then up here we're gonna go site edit. Site edit. Um, okay, so let's do. All right, and. take my plugin sidebar. I'm just gonna grab all my examples here and we'll just see what happens. All right, cool. I put them in here. So, um, you know what, I'm gonna just hide. Oh my God, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we're, we're, I'm just gonna hide this one for now. So the first one we're gonna do is the plugin more menu item. So let's see what happens if I come over here, I refresh this and We'll see plugin more menu item. Uh, hmm, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? More menu item. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, God. Okay, so when you rename something, you have to actually use it for it to work. I mean, it's magic. There we go. Okay. Wow. So yeah, so these these are specific to the site at editor. If we were to jump back over to uh, just like the regular post editor, um, we shouldn't see this one. Right? We shouldn't we shouldn't so the so the, the slot fill reference your um, link is not in here. It's only in this one, right? So there so that's that. So there there's that thing. Um, the other thing that we did was we added a um, plugin, right? So I'm gonna just uh, import the panel body from. Um, I need it from a different. Import it from here. Uh, from components, and this is it's all giving me grief because I don't I haven't actually got it imported here. Um, like sorry, it's part of my package. Um, in my package.json, but you don't need it because you just don't need it. Trust me. So where did that one go? Hmm. Oh, I did the same thing. I did exactly the same thing. So uh, it's because yeah. So let's just see. So there we go. So now we have the same plugin that we had before and it's adding it in here as well. So um, yeah, and then I think there's one more and let's see what the other one was. What was that? Plugin more sidebar, more menu item. Which we'll just see what that. Uh, do this and I think I might just be, I'm just gonna grab Plugin sidebar. Oh, I'm just gonna do this. So it looks like it's uh, self closing. Self closing. Grab that. Delete this. All right. So let's come back over here. Let's see. Um, okay. So that's the one. That's weird. So what am I? Am I missing something? Oh, I'm missing um, uh, label name. What? What is it? Maybe it's label. 
Let's, let's put label in. Hi. Yeah, sure. Push this. Nope. Let's have a look. So uh, they're missing from here, but we're going to go in, in, into the source. I'm going to go straight to the source, Gutenberg packages. And the packages edit post. Where is down? No, edit site. I'm sorry. And then we're going to go source. And then we can see where it is. Um, let's see where I was going here. It'll be exported here somewhere. Plugin sidebar components. Component sidebar plugin sidebar. Okay. Components. Oh wait, that is not the one I want. What is this thing? Uh, components header. More menu item. Was that the one I was I was fighting with here? So plug in sidebar more menu item. So plug in sidebar more menu item. We'll go in here. Components. I think it's in header. Component. Okay. And let's see what we're expecting here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so I need to just I need to wrap wrap it like that. So was I looking at the wrong? Oh, I did. Yeah, of course I missed it. Dope. All right. Oops. And then. So if I come back over here now, where am I? This is the this is the one I want. So we should have there we go. Cool. So that's I think that's all of them. I think that's all all of them that we've I think pretty sure we covered them all. So yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The dashboard button one was one. So those are all the documented ones that I've seen. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content about Gutenberg and WordPress development.